All right, hi everyone. Welcome to this week's live stream. My name is Alex with Helix Sports. Uh, if you're watching this part of the video, you're probably watching the rebroadcast. So I want to let you know that we go live every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And uh, Helix Sports is an online um, sporting goods, fitness, and apparel company based in St. Louis, Missouri. And we are dedicated to getting you the best gear, apparel, and resources to help you be at the top of your game. So uh, this week's live stream... And over the next um, few weeks, we'll be doing live streams about the different muscle groups and giving you at-home workouts that you can do very easily that target each of the big muscle groups. So, um, hey guys, thanks for joining. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. How's the uh, audio and video sound? Just let me know in the comments. Thanks. There's a little bit of a delay too. There's about a 15 second delay. So if you guys are leaving comments or questions in the chat, it might take me a minute to get to them, but I will get to them. Um, so today we're going to be talking about legs and the different muscles in the leg and different workouts that you can do to target those muscles. Um, so there's uh, the main muscle groups in, our, in the body that we have are uh, legs, and we're also going to be talking about arms and chest, and then we're going to have a whole week dedicated to the back and then another for core. And... Um, the legs have three base, or sorry, four basic areas that we're going to focus on, which will be the quads on the front of your thighs. And then there's your hamstrings on the back of your thighs, and then we've got calves below the knee on the lower leg, on the back, and we also got glutes in our butt. So that's what we're going to be talking about today for legs. And let me pull up my slides, and we'll get started. So this here is an image of. Uh, a person squatting, so quadriceps, let's start with there. Um, squats are the first exercise I'm going to show you, um, and these images come from everkinetic.com, so you can check them out there if you need more details about these exercises. Um, so the dumbbell squat, you can just grab two dumbbells and you want to get, um, get your feet uh, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and you're just going to bend at the knees and basically stand up. And that will be one repetition. Um, so here is, this is the uh, dumbbell squat. Um, that targets your quads. It also works other parts of your legs. But um, lunges. So these are dumbbell lunges. Grab two dumbbells. Um, stand with your feet about eight inches apart. And then um, we're mostly working our quads, which is the um, top part of our thigh but we're also working the calves, glutes, and hamstrings by doing this. So we're taking a step forward, and we're gonna basically just stand back up. So stand up, take a step, and stand up. And we're gonna repeat that with the other leg. And those are dumbbell lunges. For the dumbbell step up, this is the equivalent of a leg press, if you've ever used a machine to do a leg press, but to do it at home, just grab two dumbbells as your main weight, and you can stand up on a bench or box by standing legs uh, shoulder width apart, bring up your foot on top and then just stand up. And then you're gonna come back down and repeat that for the other leg and go back up. So that is the equivalent of a leg press. So we're working again our quads mostly but also our calves and hamstrings. Um, next I'm gonna show you leg extensions. Now I don't have a great graphic for this so please excuse me but this is the first um, first part of the this exercise you're just going to want to sit in a chair so ignore the machine part but then we're also going to put a dumbbell in between our feet and basically what we're going to do is hold those dumbbells and extend our legs fully up and back down and that those are each um, that's what that looks like that's a repetition and it's best done on a machine really but uh, you can do this on a chair um, so those are mainly the exercises I wanted to show you to target the Quads. Now let's talk about hamstrings. So hamstrings are on the back side of your legs, just under your butt and above your calves, above your knees. So what this is showing you is how we're going to do leg curls. So you need to lay down and have your legs from your knees and on um, off the end of a table or chair. And basically what you're going to do is grasp a dumbbell in between your feet and then you're going to bring those up, bend at your knees, and bring the dumbbell to your buttocks 
and you're going to then extend your legs fully again. And that will be one repetition, which is called a leg curl. And this is the way that we can do it at home with just a dumbbell and chair. Uh, okay, now we've got dumbbell deadlifts. Again, this is working our hamstrings. Those are the muscles on the back of the legs. And this works your lower back a lot, but it's another exercises that uses uh, another exercise that uses hamstrings, so that's why we're going to talk about them. So basically, uh, squat formation, you're going to bend at the waist and grab two dumbbells, and then you're just going to stand up, fully extending your back, keeping your arms at arm, or, uh, your hands at arm's length with the dumbbells, and then you're going to bend over again and lower them to the floor, and then you're just going to repeat that. So that's working part of your um, hamstrings. Great, now let's move to calf exercises. So these are the large muscles on the back of your lower leg. And to do this, we're gonna sit at a bench and it will also help you if you get a block or uh, maybe stack up some books to put your toes on because as you can see in this image here, we're going to be raising our heel up and down. This is gonna put a lot of weight and tension on your calves and help tear that muscle so it can grow. Um, <clears throat> so again, you don't have to do this with a block, but it will definitely help you get that extra extension for this position as you're coming down. You want your heel to go below. That's gonna give you the best stretch and the best workout. Um, alternatively, if you have a balance board, uh, that's more of a fun way to work all of your legs and muscles and um, you can just kind of like wobble around on those. Those are pretty cool, but if you don't have that, um, go ahead and do the calf raises. You can also do calf raises uh, standing up. So just imagine holding two dumbbells in your hands and just uh, getting up on your tippy toes. Again, it will help if you have a block or some books to stand on um, or any hard surface really. You can even use the curb outside uh, on the street if you just want to put your toes um, on the raised surface and then bring your heels down below. That's really going to stretch out those calves and your uh, part of your hamstrings, so that's going to be ideal. Let's move on to glutes. Glutes are the muscles in your butt and uh, hi Aunt Teen 928 uh, welcome to the live stream, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so right now we're talking about glutes. Um, these are the muscles in your butts. And this image here is of you laying down. So lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. And then what you're gonna do is raise your hips up towards the ceiling. Now, um, to increase the weight, you're just gonna hold a dumbbell on your waist as you do um, this lifting motion with your hips. And um, one more I'm gonna show you is the one-legged deadlift, deadlift, and um, what you can do is basically get into position to do a, um, a deadlift, but then kick out one leg, fully extended back, and as you're uh, standing back up and straightening out your back, you're gonna keep one leg extended back behind you and straightening out, straightening out your, uh, the leg that's planted on the floor. And you don't wanna lock your knee, but you do wanna get it fully ex um, close to extended, but slightly bent and you're really gonna want to flex your glutes as you're doing this motion. Um, so I think that's gonna cover it for today um, for all these exercises, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. And um, next week, we'll be talking about arms and chest. Uh, or maybe not next week, but the next segment that we do on uh, targeting muscle groups will be on your arms and chest. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited about that one. Uh, if you have any questions about this or if you want me to do uh, an entire video on how workout splits work, uh, I can do that essentially. Um, if you're curious, I'm, I've been thinking about doing it, but that's what that's how you plan your week, your weekly fitness routine. So maybe you have like it, you split them up and do legs on one day and chest and arms on another day. So if you wanted to learn more about that, leave a comment. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, We're on all social media, uh, including Pinterest and YouTube, so go ahead and check us out on there. It's Helix Sports with two X's. Uh, we also have a blog on medium.com slash at Helix Sports, and there you can get a lot of great content. We just put out a blog uh, for five great 
playlist to get you pumped up. So go check that out. And if you're interested in signing up for our monthly newsletter, go to helixsports.com, scroll down to the bottom, and put your name and email address in the box, and you'll get a monthly digest of our latest projects, our newest deals, the newest products that we've been putting out, and any other um, any of the other cool stuff that we're working on, some other updates. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'd like you to tune in next week, uh, Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. My name is Alex with Helix Sports, and thanks for watching. See you next time.